So you guys, we're in our MOT. We're going to uh, pick up some parts. So Dad, what do you think about Barry fucking on there whining about his buddy not showing up? But yeah, he was doing it for free. But yeah, he had to buy him food and cigarettes, which doesn't count as free if you're technically buying him things. I promise, dude. He's paying, dude. And like I said, if not, it's a sob story. They feel they feel sorry for him. They're not coming over just to hang out to be hanging out. Guaranteed, Barry's called him up and asked him for help. You know, it's not well, like dude just showing up and then chips in. You know well, saying? it's the locksmith that's coming over to help him with the U joints. What happened to the other dude, Beamer? Huh? <laughs> I mean, you can't get a socket and stitch it in a hammer and go to town, Barry. I mean, oh, he did, but well, he only walked you through like, like, not even the full fucking thing. He don't mention about pulling the clips out of the U joints. He don't mention fucking if it's got one of them nylon fucking pins in it, you gotta knock them out. I mean, well, if it don't have clips, it's got the nylon thing. But that's my point. He didn't say, well, sometimes a clipper, sometimes there's like a nylon pin that slides through that you have to dick with. That's poor bullshit. There. Mm -hmm. He just literally picks up his camera, goes, "Oh, we got it out." But I show you how to work on cars. You show us the basics of how to work on. You don't even show the basics. You fuck that. You guys ain't working on cars. You fuck shit up all the time. I mean. You literally, you literally couldn't tell the difference between a U-joint noise and you just thought it was something rattling. A squeak. A squeak. Like it was a fucking body bushing I mean, or something. He, when he went from drive to reverse, that motherfucker had to go clank. And go into drive, clank. And who the fuck is going to worry about these U-joints when the back half of your frame is fucked? I mean, that's cool. Fucking, I've seen motherfuckers driving them trucks when they're bowed like this, and they just keep driving. Right? I wouldn't be worried about the fucking U joints. A truck's a Chevy, it'll drive forever. Be worried about fixing my busted up fucking frame. You don't have the skills to fix that fucking frame, dude. And if you did, could you imagine how strong that shit would be? Well, we've seen him put a house trailer frame in a fucking Chrysler product. I mean, talking about it's 10 seconds, got fiberglass fenders that are all busted up and fucking. 10 second car, it's a quarter, 10 second quarter mile car, but don't have a cage. Don't have a fucking cage. But we'll do a reaction later tonight to both of these videos because they're like three minutes long. I mean, apparently, you know, he can't set up a tripod and show you guys how to knock them out and, you know, show you guys all the steps. He just tells you a, not even a quarter of the steps. And now there's a special tool that you use to do this that he was going to buy, but then he decided not to buy. He's got all this money, he says, he's, but then. He says he got his big old saddle up, but then on placing the knob, says, tells that dad or whoever, well, I got six grand left. We're doing pretty good. And, well, I mean, what the fuck? Then you've only got $10,000, and what you spend the rest of it on, Barry? I mean, you're bump on the head, and all you got was six grand? I'm trying to tell you, you going to get shit. What I find funny is you're not worried about your last million? No, because you're eating beanie weenies and fucking and a baloney. Barber's baloney. So, yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, dollar store I, for dollar I, store, hot dollar for baloney. I, I mean, the, probably the cheapest fucking, you can't even spring for some van camp beans. Oh, I promise you, yeah, it's not a store brand. It's not. There's nothing quality about Barry Beamer. The only time Barry Beamer's ever had, anything Barry Beamer has is quality, his mom body, or his boy body, or somebody gave him. So, my question to you, Barry, is what's in your wallet? You, you say you're paying bills, have you paid off your son's $12,000 credit card debt yet? Yeah, that's where the settlement went, maybe you paid the boy's credit card down, so we won't get sued. I wouldn't be shocked if you don't come out and claim that's what he's done. You know because the Show the proof. Canceled. Show the proof. And I'm still waiting to see if that car is a real fucking Cobra. Or whatever, yeah, a Cobra, right? Yeah, I'm waiting to see if that car is a real Cobra, you know? I mean, I'm waiting. I mean, because, you know, it's got all the, you, all, according to you, it's got every fucking little bit of, I mean. That's why we have to do the reaction videos, because he has fit so much misinformation and bullshit. And then he forgets what he, he says. Wait, wait, wait. I mean. Just like last night, he was hoping that one of them people, he shout out, like, oh, it's okay, buddy. Time heals all. We want you to mention us uh, now. I promise that people got a hold of other people and said, hey, you know, you're shouting you out on this channel. They'd probably get a hold of him again. And tell him mugging, you know. To get fucked, cut. They probably wouldn't say it like that. They're probably like Barry with Mr. Beamer or Barry or whatever. We, we appreciate your shout out, but we really would appreciate if you didn't shout us out anymore. We don't want to, you know, we really don't want to be associated with you like that. We wish you the best, but that's what I mean. 
they, you, want, you think you think they want a racist, a proven racist YouTuber? You know, take out take out the the, the minor attractive shit. Just the racist part. You think they want that on their channels that they're living off of? I mean, that, that they that they that they're work making hard good money for? on. I mean, but I want to point. I'm not saying they're all living off their channels. That's not, I don't mean it has to come out. I'm just saying. I mean, they worked hard for this shit. I mean, and. One more thing for I want to I want to point out, Beamer, you talk about me being fat, him being fat, all of us being fat asses, right? We have seen you in your skibbies with your big ass mantid. You're five foot tall and weigh two hundred fifty pounds, Barry. That's not skinny, bud. You, A five foot tall man should, should weigh about one sixty. And you should have more respect for your neighbors and their kids, because if me. Or anybody else, for that matter, seeing you out there in your skibbies, you'd be a red dot. You'd be a red dot. Sure, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, when we come to Ohio later this month, we're gonna drive by, and if I see you in your skibbies out there, I'm gonna be sure to get a picture. And I'm gonna park down the road, and I'm gonna call the law, and we're just gonna see how this shit ends. Because that's disgusting. Nobody wants to see you in your fucking woman's panties, talking about this is a 455. It's a decent exposure. I mean, yeah. dude walked all the way to the road. Dude. It's not like he's back there on his own property, like hidden. Dude walked to the road. He's standing right in front, of, right on the edge of the road. And them kids in front of him, the, the people that lived in front of him, have kids. I don't think about lived there at that time, though, did they? I don't know, but now they have kids. But it doesn't matter if it's fucking two weeks ago or ten years ago. He's he's about that life. He's about walking out there in his underwear. Well, think about this. Look at how his cars are parked right on the garage. You know they're over the property line. I mean, or, or let me guess, the dude built his garage on your property? I mean, come on, man. That shit. And yeah, you're too so happy asking it soon? Clear my way. Them cars are clear your way? Yeah. Them cars are fucking on that guy's property, on whoever owns that place's property. That shit wouldn't be happening. I'd be like, you gotta move them over. Let's get it done. Better yeah, I'll just call a rollback and have him pick them up. You gotta give him a chance first. You have to give him a chance, then you'd have to call the law over it, then you could have a tough one. But my point is, Barry, your video today was redundant, you didn't show anything. Fuck, how do we know you didn't have somebody over there doing it for you? You didn't show yourself doing it. Because oh, Barry Beaver wouldn't lie now, would he? I mean, and this ain't the stuff people want to see. You got hot rods, remember? Build a fucking hot rod, get your roadrunner running, come on. Get up with the program. I got my big block truck about to be running. Get your road runner running. Come on. Spring's coming. Come on. You need a hand up? You got to go pull one of them RV motors. Come on. Engine. I mean, $6,000 will last that dude forever. Even bars of and bars hot dogs. I mean, shit. Yeah, because you ain't putting none of that shit into his cars. And then he's so gross, dude. He's like, the cats are up on the stove eating out of the pan. You nasty motherfucker. Time to get down on PlayStation Live. You don't vaccinate your animals, and you let them eat the food that you eat. You're just asking for fucking to be sick. Dude. But as always, we'll see you guys later tonight. Check out Mako. He just did an awesome review. I haven't been able to fully watch it yet since I've been on the go yet, but did an awesome review from what I've seen so far. And uh, yeah, go check out him. Fast thing, lipstick. Um, remember, four man speed shop forever. The rest never. And go check out our friends as always. Dad. And as always, Barry, leave them kids alone.